Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today, we're going to attempt an almost impossible challenge. We will attempt to play the ultimate seesaw face-off. Where on one side we have the humble one yen coin, and on the other side we have the mighty, the shiny, the powerful ten yen coin. Now we all know that our humble one yen coin weighs very less, while the mighty, the shiny, the powerful ten yen coin weighs a lot more. So it's a modern day David versus Goliath clash, ninja versus samurai face off. A Dr. Salk versus polio virus battle. Well, that was a bit extreme. Anyways, uh, so our challenge is to make our 1 yen coin lift off the 10 yen coin. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, this is winter. It's very cold outside. Besides, a real-life seesaw is a bit too much for our coins that are much lighter. So we will make a seesaw right here. And for that, we need a few things. So first, we need a pencil. Like this. Now this pencil is hexagonal, which means it has six sides. Let's see if, it, if I can show you... Uh, from a closer point of view and a pencil that has six sides is called a hexagonal pencil. Hex in Greek means six. Most pencils are hexagonal in shape. Also a beehive is made up of hexagonal shape boxes. Even mobile phone towers are arranged in a hexagonal shape. Do you know why? Well we'll talk about that in a later episode I guess. But for now, let's just say we need a pencil as long as the pencil is not round. Because a round pencil can easily roll. So we don't want, you know, even a hexagonal pencil rolls a little bit, but a round pencil will roll a lot. We don't want that. So as long as the pencil is hexagonal or even square in shape, it will be sufficient for the experiment. Now let's move on to the next thing we need. We need a ruler. It doesn't matter if the ruler has inches on it or centimeters on it. As long as it has markings, it's okay. And finally, we need some coins. So we have uh, a stack of 1 yen coins here and 10 yen coin here. If you're watching from outside Japan, don't worry about not having the Japanese currency with you. As long as you have the coins of different weights available in your local currency, it's fine. For example, in the USA, it can be a penny versus dollar coin challenge. Uh, in the UK, it can be a penny versus pound coin challenge. In India, it can be a 1 rupee versus 10 rupee challenge. So, let's get started. First, we need a seesaw. So you can make a seesaw using the pencil as the base, like here, and the ruler as the seesaw. All you need is to find the midpoint on the ruler. So if you have a 12 inch ruler, then the six inch mark is the midpoint. If you have a 15 centimeter ruler, like I have here, then the midpoint is the 7.5 centimeter mark. So let's put it there like so. And what you have here is a balanced seesaw. Now, don't worry if the balance tilts a tad a uh, little on either side. For the purposes of our challenge, as long as both sides are more or less at the same level in the air, we are going to be fine. First, let's check if the seesaw is well balanced. So one easy way to do so 
is to put a 1 yen coin on both ends of the seesaw, like so. As you can see, the seesaw is still balanced, so we have a well-balanced seesaw. Now, let's do the challenge. So let's take these coins off. On one end, we will place our 1 yen coin, and on the other end, we'll place the 10 yen coin. Let's do it, and let's see what happens. As you can see, yes, the 10 yen coin lifted off the 1 yen coin easily. So the challenge is, how do we make our 1 yen coin lift off like this, the 10 yen coin? So that's the challenge. Talk with your friend, a child or student on how they can make the 1 yen coin lift off the much heavier 10 yen coin on the seesaw. After you discuss the answers and probable solutions, come back to the video and click the play button from there to see the winning formula. Alright, good luck. Okay, so this is the 10 yen, this is the 1 yen. Let's see if it works in real life. So here you can see a little bit. If you bring it a bit here, and you see that, yes. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? 1 yen coin is actually lifting off the 10 yen coin. That's amazing. Using our balanced seesaw, Let's see how much heavier is the 10 yen coin compared to our 1 yen coin. Okay, so we have one 10 yen coin here and we have a stack of four 1 yen coins here. And let's see if they balance out. So as you can see, the 10 yen is still heavier. So let's put our 1 yen here. So if you have four 1 yen coins, the 10 yen is heavier, but if you have 5 1 yen coins, the 10 yen is lighter, so it's not balancing out. Uh, let's add one more 10 yen coin here, so now we have 2 10 yen coins, and let's see how many 1 yen coins will suffice to balance the seesaw in midair. So on one side we have these two coins, on the other side we have, let's try 9, okay. So we have 9 1 yen coins on one side and 2 10 yen coins on the other side. Now as you can see, yes, so 2 10 yen coins are more or less equal to 9 1 yen coins. So we have a very rudimentary balance here. Now, of course, while trying to make the balance, the sometimes <laughs> uh, the midpoint shifts because the pencil is actually skidding on the surface. So it's good to have a rough uh, surface to put the pencil on, but we will do with whatever we have with us. So yes, we are trying to put actually it in the midpoint. Uh, and I really hope it works out yes so there you go it's in the mid uh, 7.5 centimeters here and you have two 10 yen coins you have nine one yen coins amazing and so i went to the government website to see what the actual weights of the one yen coin and 10 yen coin are and the government website says the weight of a one yen coin is actually one gram and the weight of a 10 yen coin is actually 4.5 grams. That's exactly what we measured a few moments ago with our rudimentary balance. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. What we just saw was amazing. But at the same time very simple. We used what we call in physics a lever or as they call it in America a lever. Levers are very helpful in our everyday life. Uh, now if you zoom up our 
1 is to 4.5 weight ratio, you will find that a person who weighs, let's say, 50 kilograms can actually lift off a person weighing up to 225 kilograms using the lever. Isn't that amazing? Actually, the great uh, Greek philosopher Archimedes had famously said, if you give me a lever and a place to stand, I can move the world. What he meant was a lever long enough. On one side, you have the earth. On the other side, you have Archimedes and he, with his own weight, could actually lift the planet Earth. Now, that sounds like an impossible thought, isn't it? But for a moment, let's just, uh, let's find out how long would be the lever that we need uh, so that Archimedes could actually move the Earth. Well, I have done some calculations. The Earth's weight is around 6 septillion kilograms, which is 6 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. Now, Archimedes was a slender old man, so let's assume he weighed around 60 kilograms. So, after doing the math, uh, I can tell you the old man needed a lever of length 10 to the power 23 plus 1 meter. And where would Archimedes stand? Well, he would have asked the mythical turtle to size up a bit. <laughs> now, there are many examples of levers in our everyday life. They help us to lift, break, or tear apart things with very little effort. Baseball bat, uh, tin opener, plier, scissors, broom, rake, and even our arms, fingers, and legs are all examples of levers. So, that was today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and spread this video as much as possible. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.